Officially listed on the National Registry of Historic Places in 1976, Comstock's Bridge, also known as the Comstock Bridge, is one of the last of only three remaining covered bridges in the entire state of Connecticut. Built in 1873, Comstock's Bridge spans 80 feet across the Salmon River in between the towns of Colchester and East Hampton, which was then called the Township of Chatham, and was actually built to replace an existing bridge from the late 1700s. The bridge was built using the patented Pony Trust System, as designed by William Howe, which inventively incorporated the use of iron tie rods as tension members. The original plans called for an iron truss bridge, but possibly due to the difference in price or the recent collapse of an iron bridge in Dixon, Illinois, the bridge was constructed using mostly wood. It is ultimately unknown as to why the original bridge from the 1700s had to be replaced, but it is suspected to be the result of a disastrous flood which occurred in October of 1869, which may have caused irreparable damage to the original Salmon Bridge. There are also a few theories floating around out there concerning the origin of the bridge's name. Some say it was named after a general Comstock, others speculate it was named after a family who lived nearby. But perhaps the most credible theory suggests that the bridge was named after the town's first postmaster, Franklin G. Comstock. Perhaps the most compelling bit of history which circulates the bridge is that on June 21, 1781, during the American Revolution, a legion of around 300 French horsemen from Rochambeau's French army under the command of Duc de Luzon camped on the west side of the Salmon Brook, opposite the landslide caused by floodwaters, while en route to join with the army of General George Washington in Phillipsburg, New York. Since its initial construction, the bridge has been officially repaired three other times. The CCC, or Civilian Conservation Corps, a federal relief program, repaired it the first time in the 1930s, using mostly salvaged parts. It was repaired again in the 1970s, and then most recently in 2011, with funding from the National Historic Covered Bridge Preservation Program. This latest renovation has a projected cost of about $1.1 million, compared to the initial cost of the building of the bridge back in 1873, which totaled a mere $3,958.59. The bridge is a popular destination nowadays for hikers, fishermen, and tourists alike, and will likely be around for us to enjoy for many more years to come.